Welcome back to Riftbreaker. My name is Nilas, and some things have changed since last time. First of all, I have gotten a completely new PC, so if things are slightly, slightly different, well, maybe that is a uh, reason. I have cranked up all of the ray tracing and stuff, so we should get uh, as good as possible uh, settings here. We're running a new PC, a brand new CPU, and a... What is it? Uh, RTX 3080 Ti, so... We should not have any problems with uh, performance anymore and uh, that means we can now cr start cranking up our games to the highest quality welcome ultra settings and also i hope that uh, i did some test recordings uh, just to make sure that the balance between voice and game and all that stuff is different because all those things sort of get lost i hope it's okay i hope it works we are jumping into this episode and uh, while i was doing test recording i spent uh, some time doing actually some of the stuff that i was um, i've been recommending in my previous tutorial about how to stop respawning because things were respawning on top of my my uh, power line here so i put in some radars here and there and that's what we're going to be doing so episode for today will be all about titanium the previous one was all about uranium so this one's going to be all about titanium i left a few of these out here so we can start out by just getting some uh, some good attacks in we're going to upgrade the hq and then we're going to jump into the titanium missions on the volcanic planets let's uh just take it for a spin and look at how beautiful it absolutely is look at that it looks so good. I think that's worthwhile. We are uh, we're going out here for a little uh, mission here. There, yeah. and let's let's do that one. And we'll just spam here to see where they're coming in. I think we can actually make it before they get to me. Oh yes. Oh, there's a golden one. What was that? Uh, that was uh, jump. Cryo, oh, there we go. The cryo, the golden ones are the ones that give me new abilities. Nice, a cryo jump. Not gonna use that. Whoa, somehow we got attacked in the meantime. That's lovely. Oh, they must have gone, decided to go over here. Ah, funny. And uh, this is where I, I'm i doing this. This is what my tutorial is stating that don't do any defenses. Uh, okay, because uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> Sometimes you will get these problems, but it honestly, they take quite a while to destroy the, these buildings, especially when they're upgraded. There's still something over here. Oh, wrong weapon. There. So yes, we kind of um, kind of thing, and we will always basically an outpost is consisting of just miners, a repair. Uh, a radar and a jump point always a jump point because then that means if we're not getting busy and everyone else we can always just jump to it that was one of those what okay it was nothing there let's cap the other two okay see i'm gonna cancel that attack this is another little trick that i did not show but i could show um if you before this one comes in do an hq upgrade then it won't come in and it'll cancel that attack because it won't throw two attacks at you at once. So what we can do is just in uh, two minutes time, less than two minutes, we'll do an HQ upgrade. And then we'll cancel this attack and get replaced with an HQ upgrade attack instead. And boom. You got anything? Okay, now this is not really working the way I want it. You are really obnoxious, aren't you? Damn biters. Cured it. When I spawn these, they will just attack anything nearby. And that's why this happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> that's funny, actually. Oh, they're still attacking. There it is, the power line. And I am going to... This one, is this the one that's being attacked? Oh, it's being attacked a lot. Oh, still attacking. What? All good. This is it one of them that got destroyed? Nope, none of them got destroyed. Uh, did I lose my jump point? I no, I didn't. All right, so as you can see, we did um, did get attacked, and it did take out a bit, but it's really not a big deal in my opinion. Oh, we have to, oh, we have to be really quick now. Go back, and then we will be upgrading this one. Ten thousand, yes, please. Then it cancels the attack. Cool. And then we get two more, two minutes to attack. So, what are we going to do here? We're going to be attacked from all directions, and I have zero defense up there. That sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I am just a whole lot of don't care about it. Uh, this thing here, 
will just have to um, protect itself. That one. But we'll be focusing our main attack on this location. So we'll just be spamming all of our defenses down here for the next couple of minutes. Here they come. Here they come. Let's start. Oh, they need to close with these guys. These here are now coming in from the desert plan. The, yeah, this plan we did last time. So now we are beginning a nice bit of mix and match between uh, enemy types. Uh, let's go here. He's definitely coming closer. More closer here. Okay, this is a nice kill zone. And let's go to this location. And then go out here. Oh, they're kind of coming in from the wrong side. That's kind of a shame. This is a nice attack. Nice attack, nice attack. It's okay, I think we're actually okay here. It's gonna last a while, this attack. Okay, this is okay. Let's go to that one. And we're gonna go start leading him into this area. Boom, big boom. Okay, they're actually the most annoying one, these uh, the wizards. I don't know, wizards are probably not the right word, but you know. These are tanking up those ones here. See if I can take those. Okay, we're losing. Uh... Okay, we're actually also getting a bit of problems in the base. That's actually a bit more problems than I had anticipated. But we're actually cleaning up now. Unfortunately, these things are annoying to clean up, and I think we're cleaning up this part. All right. Let's go in here to the main base, and they actually made it all the way in, that's kind of a shame, but not that much actually. Okay, still got some things up here. Let's scan here. And it's the big ones those at the back, those are the ones that are super annoying. Let's get them out. We got it. Okay, we got some more in here. So they're just, they're just munching on that base, and that kind of sucks, but I didn't have to build like a lot of defenses. This will buy some time until the next attack. There we go. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. And we have a few things up here. Yeah, those stupid wizards are annoying. I don't know. We're calling wizards. Alright, where else do we have attacks? That one is coming in here. A bit of attack on this side. And then we've cleaned up the area. You know, and we got to enjoy a bit of uh, of mayhem and combat. Oh, uh, let's see. There's still some a few things here that are not working quite the way they want to. Where are we at? at? Oh, that one. Yeah, see these are not. All right, let's uh, hook up some things again. Re-establish the few things that got uh, broken along the way. This is looking good. Okay, so I don't know. Do you think this was a massive disaster? Let's look at it. One, two, three. Four locations. I lost four locations. All right. I don't think that was a, a big problem, considering then I did not do any kind of defense. So I will just uh, reestablish this, and then we can take a look at the upgrades we have available uh, in as part of our HQ upgrade. So we're now back here at the base, and uh, I think the reason why I think this is uh, this is worthwhile to do. I can't believe we forgot to activate all of our research. Damn. But anyway, we got new research uh, up here. That can go into... Okay, so the, the idea is that if I do this and I lose a few, then I build them again. And yes, they cost a bit of uh, of, of carbonium, but the matter of time and effort I would have to do in order to... Uh, let's see. Uh, sorry. In order to protect them against their attacks. That's just absolutely insane. Uh, radar level 2, I'd like that. Plasma tower, I can't use that until palladium. Flamer tower, yep, I'll do that. Repair facility 2, yes please. Artillery level 2, yep. Minigun turrets, attack drone tower, we'll take that attack drone tower just for the hell of it. Uh, what else do we have here? Power jump, I'm not really keen on that. Nuclear mine, that's kind of fun. Uh, let's also get that one. We need the... What are we getting? Oh, HQ level 6 for that one. Ouch. Uh, that is a lot. So what can we do over here? 
nuclear missile. Let's do that one. That has a feature teleport. It's a, it's it's really good, but it's gonna be you're gonna be so confused if I do that. Ray gun sounds really cool, but really isn't. In my opinion, let's get that one. And as you can see, there are lots of things we haven't unlocked yet, so that is definitely what we want to do. Cool. Um, upgrades. Can these be upgraded? No. Can I build more of stuff? I cannot build any more of either the commsats or the other ones, but maybe the commsats can be upgraded though. Let's have a look. Nope. Nope. Oh, that one could. What? Oh, right. For some tutorial thing, I must have uh, missed it. And armory, headquarter, building of three of three, building of four of four, building of one of one. Yep, that's good. Labs two of two. And that's excellent. All right. It is time for us to head into the mission for the volcanic area of reconnaissance. This is where we get titanium. And it's a, it's like the uranium quest. It's a, a series of quests. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. That's going to be our objective here. So while I rift jump there, then you can uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So that is, we, we all do our parts to keep this uh, campaign going. See you on the planet. And we are here on the planet. Let's hear the intro. Rift jump successful. Warning. Temperature above safety levels. This area is hotter than we expected. My armor is going to sustain damage from the heat. We've landed in the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley. I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly drops in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings from the orbital scanner. This might be it. We have to investigate that. I generally don't want to scan the creatures because they're going to be dead anyway. Oh, here it is. This is what we're looking for. We need to look at this. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The temperature around look at the freezing is here. below the freezing temperature of water. We can go back there. Moving closer to this plant, we can study it from up close and cool off in its aura. The chemical compounds that are secreted by these plants react with the volcanic gases that are present here. This reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it, resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings. It's an astonishing survival mechanism. Oh, that's a new creature. The space around these plants is safe for us. There you go. So we can use it to regenerate while moving around this fire. We should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in our lab. We can do There's that another by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. That's a snail. They can't be killed, those snails. I would strongly suggest using the bioscanner. It is much more effective than gathering usable samples. And it will not destroy our safety zones. You can craft it in the armory. Oops, if there's you a done that already. big one. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It looks like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. This crystal contains a rare mineral called Ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It does There's a freezing point again. The magnetic field of this one once in a while. Completely strange. It is very fitting to see this mineral here. We should definitely research these crystals further. This will allow us to gather more for night and create more equipment. All right, so that's also another thing. Research for night. Okay, uh, we done being attacked now? Yep. Okay, research. That was the HQ, the Zero Buildings radar. Okay, and over here the Ferdinite. That one. We'll get the Ferdinite, and I'll put it up top. We might as well until we get uh, the stuff we need. And let's uh, keep researching these things. I'm wondering if I can... Sometimes I can blow these up. Yeah. Do I then get some Ferdinite? Nope. I don't. Ah, uh, here. Scanning? No, that's not the ones. Oh. Interesting. Let's scan these first because they might just die from collateral damage. And we will be getting this one. Let's uh, see if there are some nice new fat loot here. Go. 
go. Get. Just get lots of attacks in here. Come on, Riff. Ah, that's so nice. Okay, that kind of hurts. We did get it, and we got some sweet things here. Oh, hello. Ow. Don't destroy that one. Okay, now we can destroy everything. Good. So oh, this is this is good. This is good. Uh, let's scan these over here. We don't know. Some loud distant explosions. A nearby volcano has just exploded. My radar is tracking a cloud of fast-moving objects heading our way. Prepare for bombardment. Yay. Again. Rubius. All of these things. We don't really know what they're what they're for, but we just scanned a lot of things We're on the planet. Ow. Okay, let's get away. There's rock raining from the sky. The results are amazing. This mural will allow us to craft entirely new equipment and weapons of extreme quality. The only problem is that we need to find more resources. Mr. Riggs, can you search for large condensations of the entwined Ferdinite crystals using the orbital scanner? Just one more. Back, Ashley. I am located at the potentially Ferdinite rich location. The rich and coordinates we'll take that later. on the orbital scanner interface. Oh, maybe that's the last one. Nope. Oh. Uh, maybe that's one we have already scanned. There's some shards here. And we need to find a place to cool off again. Oops, that one. Is that the last one? It is the last one for this location. Got it. To study these cryo plants in our alien research laboratory. Let's do this as soon as possible. If we can learn to replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this bio. Yeah, that one is definitely something we want the to do. The is getting clear. The danger is over. We'll take this one, and then we'll get the hell off this stupid planet. Wow, that's a big attack incoming. All right, let's pop some more things down here. That's gonna be nothing. The last stand on this planet. Boom. Lots of flashy colors, but we did get everything. It was unfortunately not a very valuable one. Oh, that one's actually hurting us. Oh, that one, the big one. That's another big one. They actually did not care about care about that. Okay, so that was uh, the mission. We have to go back here. That was the Ferdinite and the Plasma Towers. So over here, we was shielding. The cryo station, that's the one we get. Oh, I think that we're missing something. I think we're missing some heat shielding. Uh, I am feeling that we are not getting the heat shielding technology we need. This is a cryo tower, but we also, I feel that one of these, maybe that one is supposed to be something we need to scan more of. Hmm. Let's see. Ferdinite concentration, that was not it. This reconnaissance is done. Okay, let's return to the HQ. So we're back on base. And uh, let's see, we are now researching this one. Cryotechnology. That's what we need in order to go on. We still have the issue with this and we'll find the other ones. See, this one was the environmental sun and radiation, and I'm just feeling that I'm missing one for heat. Well, let's wait for the cryotechnology to complete, and then we'll uh, we'll do that. Actually, go we got the, the cryotech, and we also have this uh, the new comet landed nearby. I think the comet landing is always going to be a new location for with minerals. So let's tap that as we go up. Thank you. That uh, looks good. I want to get make sure we have everything tapped in this area. Thank you, Comet. That was very nice of you. And now we have too many to. Yeah. Right, and we got our mission, didn't we? We now have a build radars in the volcanic area to locate titanium deposit. Perfect. This is even more perfect. We just got radars level two. 
Uh, let me see on the tech tree. If cryotech, flame towers, and on the cryotech. Ah, there we go. Environmental shooting heat. So it was there. You know what? I think we'll get that first. <clears throat> what do we have here? A super coolant refinery. Don't hope I need that, but it's apparently needed for this part. And over here, we maybe have something interesting. Cool. All right, so I was not missing it. Perfect. Let's jump in and build some radars in the volcanic area to locate titanium deposits. That's why we're here. Another location. I keep calling it another planet, but it's not another planet. I know. Gravitational anomaly detected. Gravitational strength 0.56 G. Magnetic field anomaly detected. My sensors are receiving a lot of interference. Wow. The parameters in this area are crazy. It's like a completely different planet. The gravity in this place is acting weird. Something must be causing this. Yep, something Ash, must be causing let's it. Focus on finding the titanium deposit that should be somewhere in this Whoa, area. look at this shooting here. Oh, that's weird. Oh no. Oh no. You're right. We can investigate what's causing these anomalies as we move forward. We can place the radar stations in the safe zones created by the cryo. Oh, we also need some heat shielding thingy. However, they require titanium to be built. We can find small amounts of titanium by harvesting cryo plants. Building cryo stations won't make much sense until we can find a much larger titanium deposit. Let's not waste titanium unless it's necessary. Okay, so here's the here's the plan. I am going to build a radar. This radar takes 15. Or double up, it takes 30. Okay, we've built the first radar station. But it doesn't work. It isn't easy to provide enough power in this biome. The atmosphere is very This clear, provides 24. the effectiveness of wind and solar generators. 24. And then it's only 50%, so I need two of those. So then I actually get 24. Triangulate the position of the titanium deposit. Try to place them as far there. from each other as possible. And then we should get a coverage area of uh, of this, and then I can start scanning for titanium. Oh, these ones. Look Interesting. Object. It's enormous, and it just floats in the air like it doesn't weigh anything. Doesn't care. It is emitting a powerful magnetic field. It is disrupting most of my equipment. We will not be able to construct any buildings within its immediate area of effect. It looks alien on an alien planet. Let's stay away from it. <laughs> it reminds me of how I lost my alien. So we'll be scanning a lot of things here just to make sure that we get enough. And then when we find a, a safe zone like this, oh, we definitely want to scan this. I feel that like we need to scan 10 of these to get unlock some new tech. Not sure though, but it, it just, this just screams new tech to us, doesn't it? Right, and I'm gonna build another portal, another level two radar here, and then two wind turbines, and then a single little block to make sure that they're connected. That should be enough for us right now. I'll keep scanning this one for no reason. Oh yeah, it kills some more. Uh, why is it not? Why is it not connected? Oh, because they're not built yet. Let's see what it goes. It goes from 18 to 29. Good. There's a whole lot of, of craters on this one. Let's see what we have. There we the go. Strange magnetic rocks is fascinating. Their structure doesn't resemble anything that we've seen so far. They generate a strong electromagnetic field that can distort gravity. This shouldn't be possible. Nope. They are also Agree. impervious to all of our standard weapons and equipment. They are practically indestructible. That's convenient. We can't shatter them, but maybe we could dissolve them. A strong enough acid might do the trick. Why, is, why are they switching on and off? Could build one of these. Why are they switching off? There's a dense ash cloud on the horizon. It's coming our way. It's going to get dark soon. Local? That's that's weird, isn't it? What am I not what am I not getting? The sky is covered in ash and dust. 
Our solar panels are useless now. Well. Okay, let's go to the other one. I don't want them to switch off, so I'll just uh, throw in a few more. Maybe it's just me being unable to calculate the count. That kind of thing. Okay, let's uh, move south because that's the best place to get more coverage. Wow, they, they actually hurt a bit. Right, let's get one of those from the ultra and scan the area oh there's a good place to build there's a good place all right oh whoa, 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 whoa. in a while in a while there we go build that one build the radar mark two built some solar cell or oh, wind two, three. Four, it should be enough, and then make sure that things somehow get connected like this. The ash clouds have dispersed now. Air visibility is back to normal. We're back to 50 50. I don't think I can get anything more from scanning these. Familiarity increased. I also feel this one is like they're completely impervious to everything, those snails. Okay, we're at 242, so not a lot of stuff left. Good, and that one. Then we'll just build it over here by the edge. Now oh, they're a bit tougher, these ones. They are called Ultras, right? That's a good place. If it doesn't blow up. Oops, that one blew up. Oops. One land. They're actually resisting some of our shots. But we also have these long things here. All right, let's build the radar here. That should be simple enough. Oh, one more of these, there we go. And let's, uh, one, two, three, four. Enough radar stations to locate the titanium deposit. Ah. I am marking its approximate position on our map. Excellent. Let's go there and search for it with the geoscanner. Hmm, a titanium deposit. I mean, now that I'm scanning this one right now, then let's also scan this one. It's probably gonna... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Let's move up here. We need to scan more of these? I don't think so. Just said something about a sufficiently strong acid. Come on. This one? Nope. Oh no, it flew away. What the hell is wrong? But the amount of titanium in this deposit is not impressive to nope. say the least. That's really weird. Ah, they scattered okay, so far. Let's start the orbital scanning procedure. We have to find more titanium. A bit of further night. Orbital scanning in progress. Searching for traces of titanium. New mission. We got it. Zone. Get the hell out of this planet. Let's get this one. It's oh. Uh, build radars is oh. It doesn't. It this hasn't completed yet. To have to wait a second. Orbital scanning finished. There we go. We've located a new planetary location with larger underground titanium deposits. Warning, the volcanoes in that area are very active. Make sure to equip any armor enhancements that we have available before going there. Sounds good. There we go. Mission completed. And that I just want to make sure that we don't leave before mission is completed. Gather titanium in the area of intense radioactive activity. That is where we're going to build our titanium base. And we're just going to reclaim some of this. And that, let's go. On a new planet. Always stop scan. Warning. What's this? Watch out for falling debris. Mr. Riggs, can you track the incoming rocks that pose a threat to your armor? Affirmative. I 
and have enabled projectile hit prediction and an actively marking estimated collision location. See if I can blow some of these up. These markers as soon as you see them. We only have a few yes. seconds to act. Oh, it's Hassanite. Okay. This mission is going to be Let's intense. Let's research these Hassanite. Bombardment and search for titanium at the same time. Ashley, the orbital scanner detected titanium deposits in the ground. If we can gather enough titanium from this area, we should be able to study the geological composition of titanium-rich ores present on this planet. The next logical step will be to establish a permanent titanium mine outpost. Yep, let's do that. That makes perfect sense. Equip the geoscanner and let's start hunting for treasure. Hunting for treasure, let's do that. Um, here. Oh, a charger? Oh, right here. Perfect. Let's see if it bounces like crazy far away. No, it didn't. Okay, so it was just the other one. I was just wondering, like, maybe the, it could be somehow related to the graphic settings. You know, it's the weirder things have been known to happen. Where things that should not be related to graphics are, like, sometimes... Oh, no, you're not. All right, we got some... We got some titanium. And we need to keep scanning for more titanium. I have some... Didn't I have something here? Nope. Also, when we find more of the yellow crystal, the Hassanite crystals, definitely take those. Where are you? There you are. We're gonna need a real titanium deposit here. Oh, we need to go to 500 and something. Alright. Well, keep going. There, another one. Where are we at? 150? One more. Let's see how much we get. We get about 100 maybe or something. Ah, this one looks a bit good. A bit, be a bit better. Going this will probably drop mainly in the lava. Or oh, not mainly, but like Yeah, we got something. Oh, that was just our research. We're getting more, getting more. Where are we at? Two more, I think. Then we should be good. Get that one out. And let's get this one. This is probably not gonna be the last, but we'll uh it'll be close. Yay. So how many more do we need? Almost. Like less than hundred more. This may be the last one. If we are lucky. And not all of it falls in the water. Nope, that was not well, lava. Not enough. Need one more. This is the last one. Yay, we got it. And a new species. We've gathered enough titanium to be able to study its geological presence patterns on Galatea 37. Excellent. Let's queue up downloading of the appropriate titanium handling technology and start scanning for a good research. Complete. Let's do that. We got a few things. Titanium handling can now be done. And let's make sure that goes to, to the top because only when that's done will we be able to get to, to the next mission, I think. In progress. We should have a good location for a titanium mining outpost soon. Okay, so that was new objective. And okay, we got a mission completed. Download the titanium is the next mission. All right, time to get out of this planet here. Let's see. Titanium handling got it. Mini nuke got it. Nothing new opened. Uh, this is the part of this. Where was it? Oh, it's, it's over here. We should also get some magma power plant. Let's get that. We probably need some magma power plant where we're going. Uh, any other things? Cryogenic atomizer, cryogenic mines, gravity grenade, swarm missiles. They sound interesting. Let's queue those up. Let's queue it up. We just queue up as much as possible because we don't really know what's uh, what's cool. So we do want to get all of it and then we'll try some of it if we feel like it. And that is armory level four. How was this not available before? I want to get that one further up because I don't want to. That's five minutes. Okay, then it's not going to happen. Not just yet. Oh, but I 
want it because then we can get be better miniguns. Oh, that's happening. That's so happening. Definitely up. Yeah. All right. Let's jump back to... Let's check mining outposts. Uh, intense. And now we need to do the mining outposts. Somehow we can't travel right now. Obel scanner under attack. Really? Oh, it's maybe me under attack. Mission completed. Move on to the next. This is where we establish the base. And another base. Another world. Oh, look at that. And there's another one down here. Excellent. We've hit the jackpot. That's Let's perfect. Look for an easy to defend location near one of the titanium deposits to establish an outpost. That's perfect. And this is going to be it. That in this biome, we have to cool the surroundings before placing any buildings. Start by constructing cryo stations in the location where you want to build your base. There, you cryo also stations. Start building up next to a patch of cryo plants. However, that can be dangerous as these plants may get destroyed during an attack. <laughs> they may get destroyed. They absolutely may. And we're gonna start our rare mining. Yeah, I can't place it because it's too hot until these cryo stations are done. But we, what we can do, is make some. Here, let's do that. Uh, also, if you see, I have more. There are some redemption code. Rede uh, yeah, redemption code. Redemption code. You can redeem some codes in the game to get access to some different ones. Like this G2, for example. G2 has their own uh, sports team. And. There. Okay, so we are going to establish a nice little base here. What are we going to do with it? We are going to get some magma power if we can. And what else? We could get. I'm actually thinking if we could find a vent, then we. Uh, a thermal vent, then we could get a. Then we could get some mud that we can transform into water, and if we have water, we could get our nuclear power operational, and that would actually not be the worst idea ever. So these are just propagating out this cold area in the middle of this very, very warm area. So how much space do we need in order for us to build this space? Mm, well... I'm going to build it with this pattern, it's faster to build, and uh, it, it looks pretty good. We're definitely going to get two locations. Oh, oh, I can't build out there. Oh, really? Even this requires cryo towers? Okay. That one. And let's also build a cryo tower out here. This one is not working. Uh, okay. Nope, it wasn't working. Not until the cryo tower is there. There, there, there. Keep going further down here. And then we need another cryo tower. Crying tower. That one, and definitely also one here. This is a dead end, so we're going to make our stand or our defenses down there as well. That should be good. And from this location onwards, I think our... This will be the cutoff. Like right here will be the cutoff for our defenses, because we are going to do a lot of defensing. And because it's like the similar plan, the similarly for the acidic ones, when we get here and when we are almost ready to go when we have almost enough then we'll get a massive attack coming in and we want to be ready for that this time yeah how far up i think this is probably a good enough location to claim and then i need another tower right there and we probably so go over to this location cut it and then hit this one and then, I don't know, maybe down here or something. Yeah, that should give us ample space for all the stuff we need. I'm not going to do, let's, uh, let's build the, 
the concrete of the base and then uh, we can start filling in the blanks. Okay, so our base is now done. We need to start working on all the stuff inside. I had to move it a bit further out because we have this annoying blob in the middle that we can't do anything about. So I will be starting to make an outpost and then some mining, rare resource mining. Do we have higher level resource mining? No, not yet. We want to though. And those are the only two things that actually need uh, resources. Oh, that one should also be here. And of course we then need some power as well. Really? What's the problem with that one? Oh, right, it's not actually there. Cool. Now we need some power. Unfortunately, power is not great. So wind turbines don't produce much energy. However, I am detecting multiple geothermal vents and rich carbonium deposits. We can place power plants on these resources. We are practically surrounded by vast amounts of energy that is stored in the magma all around us. It would be possible to utilize magma as a liquid to produce power if we invest in appropriate technology. Let's invest in that proper technology then. Let us not forget that we came here to start mining titanium for our rent station. Remember to place rare elemental mines on the titanium deposits oh, yes. that we found here. Here, I also need to make sure that I can actually get out of this base. If I can't get out, then I can't defend. And we need to be able to defend this because we're going to have massive attacks coming in. And we're going to have lots of power issues, so let's... Uh, Oh, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Okay, so we have now... Did we get the... Oh, plasma weapons. Ooh, we get so excited. Get so excited. We can do new plasma weapons. No, we can't. We can't. We didn't need rhodonite. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. We can get a nuclear missile. Um, I don't think I want to do that. Or I guess you wanted me to do that, right? You want me to run around with a nuclear missile. So I guess I have to make one. We'll make one. It doesn't cost much. Ta -da! And let's put it here because then it'll be a surprise when I actually equip it. <laughs> I don't think I want this one. I'll just disassemble it. There we go. And I don't want this one either. Disassemble. Thank you. Uh, only one this. I don't think I'm going to need this either. And unequip and equip. There. Plasma weapon. And then we have the We'll put it over here. You clear this out. It's too slow to be really practical. Anyway, uh, we need to figure out what we're going to do with power. Build a rail. Yeah, that's good. Um, over on this side. Yeah, they'll probably come in with attack, right? No, they're just coming in with and telling us that it's accruing. That one. That one. And there. And there. So let's build some radars as well. We're going to need to build some defenses everywhere. And power is still our main problem. Oh, whoa, whoa. Um, radar 2. Go to this location. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operations returning to nominal levels. Nominal levels. And go down to this location down here and also put in a radar. Oh, I should have just teleported. We have rifts. Use them. All right. I think it's time for us to build some AI core limiters. AI limiters. Yep. AI limiters. Absolutely. Without those, it's not really working, is it? And we can build level two. How much do we get for this? Eight. And that's probably going to kill our power as well. So that's, um, that's another little detail. What are we going to do with the power? Yeah, power is dead. Uh, carbonium power, we could do that. Unfortunately, it, the map doesn't show when we have something. What about... What about magma power? Yeah. Let's see if we have that magma power. We so looted that. Nuclear power plant. And that requires some water, which we don't have. Gas power. Oh, someone has been greedy, haven't they? Yes, they have. 
Move that up. Oh, it's 14 minutes to magma power. That's not gonna work. So it's magma power is completely out of the question here. We're gonna have to make do with what we have because I'm not gonna sit here and just idle twiddle my thumb for 18 hours or for 15 minutes. I mean, it might take 15 minutes to build all this, but I don't want to do that. All right, let's just go ham with this. We could also do, we could actually do the carbonium. I'm thinking if that's a good idea. I think we can probably make it. Let's see how much power we're at, at a whole whooping minus 500. That's kind of a lot. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards Well, that's not ideal. Okay, let's try and look at what if we wanted to do a carbonium. We have not used carbonium power plants. Carbonium power plants. 50? And I don't have any upgrades, so it's just 50. That's not worth it. That is not worth it. All right, let's get some more solar before that attack comes in, or some more power of sorts. And if we can find some geothermal, we'll absolutely take that. But if you can't find some geothermal, guess what? We're not taking that. We're just gonna have to make you. We have a pretty sizable area enclosed, so getting more power like this is probably going to be fine. And then make sure that everything gets, gets connected. Right, what about now? We're still at minus 60 power. We can do more. We can do more. And we have no storage. I think we need a bit of power storage as well. In case the wind suddenly dies down, and then we should have just a bit of power storage. Shouldn't we also start dealing with that attack coming in? Yeah, probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Where's it coming in? It's either coming in here. So that means let's get some gates up. That one. That one. And let's find some various targets. Let's do sentinel towers. And uh, let's do a few of those. Sentinel towers. Sentinel tower. Uh, sentinel tower. Let's get some rocket towers as well. Sure. Yeah, probably nice and let's definitely also get some artillery towers and also some artillery towers up here get some there less than a minute away sounds good that is definitely a proper defense at this location so let's go to here and also buff up that one first we're gonna get a gate let's get some various things two of these and some some artillery, put them at a bit back, make sure that we have a repair pack, get some rocket turrets. We really want the railgun turrets. Uh, what, is, what is this? This is an attack drone thing. We'll put an attack drone thing in. I'm sure we need an attack drone thing. Oh, here they are. Oh, please don't tell me that's it. Ah, oh, here, here it comes. Here comes a bit more spam. Well, that was a gigantic waste of effort. <laughs> gigantic waste of effort in order to protect this. Okay, power-wise, we are barely making it. Barely making it. And we are definitely making some... We're definitely making titanium. Good. I think we should just fill up with more power. Because power is just one of those things that you always need more of. So let's... Chop up on power while we are waiting for the titanium to increase. We have mined half of the titanium. And that's good. And the base is... The it's a nice little base we got here. I am detecting increased activity amongst the local fauna. The attacks the against our outposts are increasing in strength and numbers. We should build up more advanced defensive towers to protect our base. Well, this we have... area is very rich in resources, so we can establish additional mining bases if we need Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Economy. That's too much of a bother to establish additional mining resources in this area. So I don't even want to go out from this. What we can do now is we're just going to sit here, relax, and chill until we have all of the mining we, can, we need. And then we'll take it from there. All right, we're zooming back here. We're almost at the completion and even better, we're getting a rare resource mining level two, three, which means I can now upgrade these. 
And that will give us way more resources. Like, that's just doubling up. There we go. That's something I realized that uh, I should have done before because, well, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Like, the, that means now we are not getting anything until this is completed. Well, I just delayed the whole thing by two minutes. Well, that's a problem for me, not for you. And with the upgrade complete, we will now see that our titanium is skyrocketing. We have, unfortunately, a big attack incoming. So I hope that if we gather the titanium, then this sort of timed attack will be replaced by the quest attack and not just on top of it. Let's see. We're getting it pretty damn quickly now. It'll definitely get it. There we go. Oh, we still get the attack. I'm detecting a massive oh, it removed it. Heading towards our outposts. And the mining outposts. That's pretty ridiculous. Why would I need five more minutes now? I don't want five minutes. Must have disturbed a lot of them. We're going to need advanced defense towers to repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the critical paths toward our outpost. Okay. But looks like it's coming in only from up here. So that means the entirety of our defenses is kind of have to be focused at this location. So we'll just bump up the defense and then we'll just wait for, uh, for things to come in. And we're going to get more of these. More... And let's get another repair pack. And what else do we think? We need some rockets. Yeah, let's do let's do some rockets here and there. Let's double up our walls. I mean, there's there's a lot of things we can do here. Just in this area, and we get. And then aside from this, I would just say, well, let's just wait. Let's just wait for it to come in because it's. I can't really do much more than this, and I'll upgrade. All of this to now walls level two. And then we'll just spam a lot of this. And I'll just run around spamming this until the uh, timer's up. And if I'm a bit unlucky, then they I'll of course go out and meet them in the field, but there is a fair chance that I'll uh, they'll not even make it back to the base. But I guess we'll see in three minutes' time. We've unlocked a unique item, Catacorn. Oh, that's so happening. That is so happening. <gasps> wow. Look at that. It's a cat unicorn. <clears throat> uh, uh, grow up. Uh, uh, well, that's, uh, that, that's new, new and unique. Ha! I bet you don't have that one. Nice, nice, nice. We have a Catacorn. Sweet. And we also have nuclear bombs. So we are placing nuclear mines everywhere. Yep, and uh, that's gonna be fun. So now we all we need is like 15 seconds and then our catacorn is going to um, go absolutely ham with nuclear mines. And oh, also, by the way, did we forget that we had nuclear nuclear weapons? Oh, we did not. We did not forget it. We are so, it's so going to happen. The nuclear catacorn is going out. 10,000 10, 10, creatures? Don't care. I, I'm confident. I'm a catacorn now. Let's go out and meet them. Oh, 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 that sucks. Okay, let's throw some nukes at them. Oh, they resisted the nukes. How utterly disappointing. <laughs> I guess we maybe have some enemies coming in now. Yeah, there we go. Now they're coming in. And that one, and just spam it. They're probably not even going to make it to the base, are they? And let's also just throw some nukes at things. Uh, actually, see, this is why I don't like the nukes, because it's just slow firing. And I really like my absolute spam here. We should lead them back to the base, though. It's just... It's a bit cheating if we just kill them all out here. That's oh no, don't tell me that's it. Oh, I'm s I am so disappointed. Oh, I thought it was a big attack. 
Oh, I'm so disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable. Rock bombardment, walking stone giants, and swarms of fire-breathing snakes. Can it get any? Look at all of that. Completely wasted. We have gathered enough titanium oh, well. to construct the quantum gate stabilizer. We should return to HQ to start the construction process. This uh, outpost will remain as a permanent like base of operations. We can even build up more mines and factories here to boost our economy. All of the resources that are produced here will be automatically transferred to our HQ. As long as we I don't like having this one. A negative number. Long distance rift travel and transportation are not possible without it. We completed the mission and we are now a nuclear catacomb. That is amazing. That is so cool. That's definitely the best skin. I bet you don't have a skin as awesome as the, you, the nuclear you, catacorn. All right. Well, uh, the mission is complete. We have uh, gathered all the stuff we needed. We have a working titanium outpost. We're only getting 18 per second. But, you know, 18 per second, that's still pretty damn good. And then let's jump back. Home sweet home. All right. What can we do here? Just a few things. Like, we can upgrade these. And I think we can actually build one more. If I'm looking at it, because that's going to be the last thing we do as we wrap up the episode. Looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Well, that's they—they they, they always will be. We should go and level four the armory. It's good. That is good. This one will get level four armory. We can also do another comsat station, and that can be built out here. Comsat station, and that will be right there. Yes, please. Funny how we don't have any tiling under this. Right, so let's uh, recap on what we've done today. We have uh, done all the titanium missions. We now have a stable inbound supply of titanium. That stable inbound titanium is one more item to go for our final project. And we will need to... That took out all of our resources, didn't it? Yeah, I think it did. Doesn't matter. So that means we are now ready to, uh, to go into the last one. And I honestly think the last one is the best most fun i don't know <laughs> look at this storage this storage is absolutely absurd and i think we'll just see if we can do some more ammo storage no uh maybe we can get that once the next one is done anyway and i i'm really bad at wrapping up all right so thank you very much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode until then take care and as always stay effective